Section. Introduction. In this section, we will describe our observations and potential mathematical explanations. We will first provide important definitions. Then, we will discuss how training models with increasing ratios of tokens to parameters show similar scaling patterns. We will also show that these patterns align with the idea of power law scaling when considering training compute and token ratios. To link loss scaling with performance on downstream tasks, we will analyze our models and observe a relationship between average top 1 error and validation loss. We will propose a scaling law to explain how downstream error relates to loss. Regarding overtraining, we define it as inefficiently allocating compute, leading to smaller models training on a higher number of tokens than optimal. Although the loss may be higher compared to the optimal allocation, these models have fewer parameters and are more cost-effective for inference. Our investigation into scaling begins by training models with varying parameters and token ratios. We observe that even with increased overtraining, there is a consistent trend in the reducible loss when plotted against compute on a logarithmic scale. This suggests that scaling in the overtrained scenario may be predictable based on training runs closer to the compute optimal point. Section Summary In this section, we investigate the practice of overtraining in training language models by allocating compute sub-optimally, resulting in models with fewer parameters but higher loss. By training models with varying token multipliers, we observe consistent scaling trends even in the overtrained regime, suggesting predictability in scaling when models are trained closer to compute optimal. This indicates that models trained with more overtraining can still be accurately predicted based on scaling laws established from models trained closer to compute optimal. Section. Deriving scaling laws for overtrained behavior. In this section, we derive scaling laws for overtrained behavior. In our search for an analytic expression for the observations in the figure, we refer to the scaling literature. A common mathematical form for the risk of a model, as suggested in previous studies, involves parameters such as the number of parameters, n, the number of training tokens, d, and the irreducible loss, e. By fitting this form to data, we find that the scaling exponents alpha and beta are similar, indicating that we should scale both n and d equally as compute increases. Therefore, we assume alpha is equal to beta. With this assumption, we reparameterize the equation in terms of compute, c equals 6 n d, and a token multiplier, m equals d n. The interpretation of the equation reveals that the scaling exponent alpha underscore c is independent of m leading to lines with the same slope in a log-log plot. The term m caret alpha underscore c plus b m caret alpha underscore c determines the offsets between curves with different token multipliers, resulting in non-overlapping, parallel lines in the log-log plot for the range of m considered. Even if alpha is not equal to beta, we obtain a parameterization that implies a constant power law exponent with overtraining. Loss is often studied concerning scaling, which is smoother than metrics like accuracy. However, practitioners are more interested in real-world task performance. To better connect scaling laws and overtraining to task prediction, we analyze a set of models in the figure. We observe that average downstream top 1 errors decrease exponentially as loss decreases, with the relationship between loss and error being dataset dependent. Based on the exponential decay observed, we propose a relationship between downstream average top 1 error, air, and loss, L, where certain parameters, epsilon, k, gamma, are determined from data. This relationship also relates to model perplexity, where air follows a power law in perplexity with a maximum error epsilon close to random chance performance. This relationship suggests a method to predict error based on compute and the level of overtraining. In our experimental setup, we train models on different datasets, C4, Red Pajama, Refined Web, and fit scaling laws using curve fitting techniques. We invest significant time in training models to accurately predict loss and downstream error. Our configurations allow us to test extrapolation to different regimes of parameters and tokens. 
Section Summary In this section, we derive scaling laws for overtrained behavior by analyzing the risk of a model and fitting a parametric form to determine scaling exponents. The assumption that the scaling exponents are equal implies that parameters and tokens should scale equally as compute increases. We propose a relationship between downstream average top 1 error and loss, observing exponential decay in error as loss decreases, with dataset dependent relationships between loss and error. Section Main In this section, we train various models on different datasets with specific numbers of parameters and token multipliers. We skip runs that need more tokens than available in a dataset. We also train models with larger parameters and tokens without repetition. Overall, we end up with 104 models that we evaluate on validation loss and error for different tasks. In addition to our main findings, we present more results in the appendix. We observe that when token multipliers are too small, scaling becomes unreliable. Some multipliers show points close to the optimal compute frontier. We test the limits of reliable scaling by evaluating models in different settings. Interestingly, models trained on English and tested on code prediction show high errors, but when tested on German, the loss scaling is reliable. We also find a link between investing more compute in scaling laws and their predictability, with loss prediction being cheaper than error prediction. We also discuss the rise of overtrained models and massive datasets. We provide token multipliers for popular models to understand the extent of overtraining. For instance, Chinchilla 70B uses a token multiplier of 20, while Llama 27B uses 290. We explore token multipliers from 5 to 640 to cover popular models and future relevance.